James, many congratulations on signing an extension to your contract. This will be your fourth year with the club. You must be pleased to, to get everything sorted. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to get it all uh, out the way, early doors and that now, so look forward to somewhere like that. It's been quite a journey, hasn't it, since you joined us? Yeah, as your uh, first year, obviously, promotion that, second year, sort of finding my legs in League Two, uh, League One, sorry. Uh, season just gone has been probably one of my worst, really, of, like, with your injury at the start of the year. Well, the year-wise, obviously, like, the nut allergy thing and then that as well wasn't great. Um... But ended on a positive, really got quite a few minutes in towards the end of the season, so happy with that, I guess. Yeah, well, I mean, when you came back, you, you played 10 games since you, since you returned, and you must have been pleased with how you got straight back into, into it. Really. Yeah, it was um, unfortunate, obviously. Uh, Leslie got injured, and Joe got injured as well. Like, I was just coming back, so it gave me a chance to well get some minutes under my belt, really. And luckily, the gaffer stuck me in because he could have probably played a few other lads there instead of me. But luckily he threw me in, uh, I'd only been trained sort of two, three weeks, so thrown in the deep end. At left back I think it was actually. And um, no, I enjoyed it in that. So it was just good to get like gained on the mobile mm. again. How difficult was that? Because as you say, you were thrown, thrown back in really at the deep end and you hadn't done a, a pre season well, you hadn't done any real training for a long no, time. No, it was a tough one really because when I first came back, they were saying, it's a, the, the, it was a very high risk of like a redo my injury in the first four weeks of being properly back. So I weren't allowed to do too much. So I couldn't really like do enough to get myself properly fit. So I would train, but do, do a lot of recovery sessions and that. So obviously going to the game, it was more playing the games, recovering, playing the game sort of thing. There wasn't a lot of fitness in between, shall we say. Yeah. So how pleased are you to be signing this extension? Really? Yeah, yeah, extremely, of course. It's a great place to be, like we've seen the clubs going forward, so it's, it's great to be a, still be able to be a part of it. And it, it's been a bit of a, a strange season for Rovers, hasn't it, as well as for yourself, obviously, a bit yeah. inconsistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had that um, bad blip through, maybe was it just before Christmas. Mm. Um, we, had quite, we had a few things go against us, though, didn't we? And if we're honest, like, we had quite a few injuries, and I think after we don't like to talk about things like that, but if we look at it, we did have a few, a uh, few key players like Bill. Bill went in the after I think it was a Northampton game, and then that was when the sort of blip started really. But we stuck at it though. It was never doom and gloom in that. We always thought like this is just a, a spell. It's not like where we're going to end up type thing. Cause we were touching uh, touching the bottom four or five, I think it was at one point. But no, we pulled through after Christmas. Um, Gaffer brought in some. Some lads like Benno, Tone, Bernard, and you know, we kicked on from there really. We've done quite well. It was a positive end to the season, but obviously we've ended mid table. It's probably, a, it's not, it is successful and it's not, it depends on where you look at it, but obviously the lads are hungry and the gaffer's hungry, so we look at it as not so much as a, a success. You, you touched on the, the players the Gattle brought in, in, Fe- in well, 1st of February, I think, just after the transfer deadline with uh, Tony Craig and Benno. And obviously he's going to be looking to recruit again in the summer, but it is a very close squad and he's very careful to bring in players who will fit into that. Yeah, all right. he won't just bring in um, anyone. Like He needs to know about mm. their personality, how they are, and what they're like in the change rooms, like no bad eggs or anyone who's big time sort of thing. And the lad he's brought in is like fitting great, really. It's a great change room to fit. It will be you'll be find it you'd find it hard not to fit into our change rooms, and if you do, then obviously it's a problem, anyways. You you played under Darrell before at Salisbury. Was it like that? Was yeah, it like yeah. That even back. back yeah, then? great team spirit. Like that's what got us where we were. Like that's half the battle really, the team spirit. And then you got to work hard as well. And we all eat. Gaffer always seems to bring in um, like the lads who like my, the hungry lads uh, who want to work hard and want to win things. This is actually about your, your favourite position. I'm sure we've covered this before, but yeah. you've, you've played all along the back line, haven't you? Now? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know really. As long as I'm playing, I'm happy really. But I don't know wherever I'm needed to be honest with you. But do you, do you find it an advantage or a disadvantage? It depends. Being able to play more if we got a big, if we got a small squad, it's an advantage. Because then, if there's an injury, then I like I'll fill in. If we got a big squad, then it's a bit of a disadvantage because we have players and all enough players in enough positions really. But um, no, as to my. Uh, Strengths really, I guess, when it comes to picking a team or whatnot. So, 
Is it too soon to look ahead to next season? You need a break first, I guess, before <laughs> the horrible work starts again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, I haven't really thought about next season. I think it's too early to think about next season just yet. I think we need to get, well, obviously get this out of, of the one out of our way just finished now. Um, for me, it's just probably recover, get my body right again, get my uh, hamstring going again. And then uh, do enough stuff in the gym that's going to get me properly fit, really. Yeah, yeah and get a pre season, get a full season under your belt. Yeah, and get fit this time, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to games, not just uh, having a few weeks training. Well done, anyway. Congratulations. Have a good you. break.